Kemper's book, My Squirrel Days, is out in paperback now. Go get it. You can see Mark Maron's movie, Sort of Trust, in select theaters and on demand now. Also, Glow is coming back, uh, yeah. season three, Great August 9th on Netflix. Lori Gelman is behind the bar. Her book, You've Been Volunteered, a class mom novel, is out uh, next Tuesday, right? Yep. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, Kristen from Michigan is on the line. Hey, what's your question? Hi, Andy. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Mark. Hi. Hi. My question is for Mark. Okay. So you've had over a thousand episodes of your WTF podcast. Mm -hmm. Who has been your all-time worst guest? You guys. <laughs> I'm making you um, talk. I, I, you know, I, I get very diplomatic about this because, yeah. oddly, even the ones that I'm uncomfortable with, I, I find interesting because I don't know really know a lot of the people that I talk to, so I don't know that there was a, a worst worst. guest. There have been difficult guests. There, um, we got some. We got a question for you about one of your podcast episodes that I was unfamiliar with. I guess when you had Gallagher on, oh yeah, you confronted him about his uh, homophobic and kind of racist jokes yeah. and he stormed off. Yeah, that was weird because it was, I, w I was on the road and I recorded it in a hotel room. Okay. You know, and I just found out he was in town and, and I'm like, yeah, he's part of comedy history. Yeah. That'd be an interesting thing. And I was really not, you know, indicting him. I was just asking him why was he doing that and, and you know, uh, didn't it seem wrong to him or whatever. And he just got all upset. He's like, I know what you're trying to do. You know, and he. That's he, a good Gallagher impersonation, <laughs> by the way. And he, like, gets up and just storms out of my hotel room. Oh, my God. And, uh, and I, I think what, what's really the funny part about that was I'm just sitting there alone, but I still had the mic. Yeah. And you could hear me go, oh, come on, Gallagher. That's amazing. <laughs> but by the way, what a great moment for the podcast. Yeah, well, people kept wanting me to get t-shirts that said that. Yeah. Come on, Gallagher. <laughs> Let's go to Jeff from Nevada. Hey, Jeff, what's your question? Hi, Andy. Hi, Mark. Hey. Hi, Ali. How are you? Great. Good. I'm a big fan. I just wanted to say congratulations, Andy. You're having a phenomenal year. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. And my question is for Ellie. Okay. What is your reaction to John Krasinski becoming a huge action star with movies like Jack Ryan and A Quiet Place? And did you ever imagine Jim from The Office would get so hot? <laughs> what if I was furious? I was I like, I am so angry he's an action star. Right. Um, I love it. He's the nicest guy there is. Uh, I think it's great that he's an action star. By the I'm way, but I think he was pretty hot when he was Jim from The Absolutely. Office. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That's why everyone adores him. I mean, he's like, he was like the hunk of The Office, yes. right? So I watched the show before being on it, and that's like how he was known, right? Yes. He's the heartthrob of The Office. So I don't think it's such a great leap. It, from, he was always yeah. hunky and handsome. And why am I talking so much about <laughs> <laughs> Last call of the night, Shayna from Delaware. Hey, what's your question? Hi, Andy. Love you. Love you. Hi, Ellie. And my son Charles fell in, in a crush with you on The Office. Oh, uh, thank I'm his John Krasinski. That's nice. great. Nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mark, I was wondering what were your interactions like with Joaquin Phoenix on the set of The Joker, and was he in full method mode during the filming? I was wondering, does he seem like an intriguing person? Not. I'll tell you exactly what happened. Uh, like I had to do a scene with Joaquin Phoenix and Robert De Niro, and I met Robert De Niro, and he was very nice, kind of shy, you know, not, not a big talker, and, and, and Joaquin was pacing over there, dressed as the Joker, mm -hmm. and it was made clear to me that you just sort of leave him over there. Oh. Wow. <laughs> you know, you don't approach him, don't, don't, don't even, it, they didn't say it like, don't do right, that. Right, right. Just sort of like, hey, maybe it's not a good idea, he's Let doing his thing. Let him do his thing. So yeah, so he was deep in. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> All right, uh, let's leave it there. I want to thank Ellie and Mark and Lori Gelman. For more, click around BravoTV.com. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.